What's up, family? Question. Is it appropriate for a woman to tell a man, you're the brokest dude I've ever been with? I witnessed that from Tahari from Love and Hip Hop. She was referring to her, I think, boyfriend, Vado, from The Diplomats. Now, I did not watch the whole show. In fact, I didn't watch any of the show. I watched a highlight, but that caught my attention that a woman would tell a man, you're the brokest dude I've ever been with. And something else caught my attention. They're on a show called Marriage Boot Camp, but they're not married. And they don't really know if they're dating because she said, in the opening spiel that I'm here on the show with my boyfriend. And then she said, she looked at him, she said, are you my boyfriend? So there, you know, I think 40s, she's at least 40 years old and she doesn't know if she's in a relationship or not. And she actually called it a situationship. You don't know whether she's in a relationship or a situationship at 40 years old. You have to know these type of things. These two came off as disingenuous to me. It looked like they were just there for the check because they were insulting each other the whole time. And I saw another clip of them from a, a different show where they were, they were insulting each other. I don't see how you end up in a relationship, a new relationship, and you're going in on each other like this. Now they say that they were childhood friends. They grew up together and they never dated. They were friends for a long time. I think she said something like 12 years. Then they started dating. And I guess when they started dating and they learned more about each other on an intimate level, and I guess they started expecting more from one another, maybe that's when everything fell apart because that's what happens a lot, fam. Oftentimes, when you're just kicking it with somebody before you say, I love you, and she say, I love you, or he say, I love you, everything's cool. You can be riding down the street, and you see a chick, and you like checking her out a little too long, and she's like, oh, man. And what you looking at? Oh, I'm looking at her. What you talking about? What you think I'm looking at? And they, you start laughing and then you go home and have mad sex. The moment you say, I love you, take that same trip down the street and see the same chick and say, she say, what you looking at? Oh, uh, I ain't looking at nothing. No, you was looking at that dick. You know what I'm talking about? You was looking at, you see what I'm saying? What happens here, fam, is that once, when we're just dating, when you're just dating somebody, a lot of the little uh, pet peeves that you have about a person, you overlook them because you're not committed to that person. So you're not really like holding that person accountable for every little thing because you don't feel like that person is representing you. But once you commit in a relationship, you start looking at that other person like that person is representative of you. And so when that person leaves the house, you wanna make sure that that person is on their best behavior when they're out there in the streets or wherever they are. You start checking out what they wear a little bit more carefully. You're watching how she do her hair, her makeup. You're watching how, who he hangs around, the places he's hanging around at, you know, how, what kind of language he's using. Is he drinking too much? Is he smoking too much? all of these things. See, what has happened is that love has come into the picture. And once love comes into the picture, it's a wrap. It don't matter if you're compatible or not. You're going to cause each other a lot of misery if you're not compatible. So if you have these pet peeves, they're gonna blow up. They're gonna turn into disrespect. The disrespect will turn into uh, distrust. 
And as the great Betty Wright put it, no trust, no relationship. You see? See, once we get into relationships with each other, the race is on to make the other person perfect. We're imperfect people looking for perfect people. So when we that's why a lot of times we're beefing with each other because we want the other person that we're in a relationship with to be perfect, but we're not perfect. But we want the other person to be perfect. That is our arrogance. That's that's nothing but arrogance. One thing that I that I learned a long time ago, I already knew this, but I read a book by Peter uh, Peter Williams. Peter it's Peter Williams, Peter Mac Williams. I think it's Peter Mac Williams. And he said that the book was called You Can't Afford the Luxury of a Negative Thought. It's a great read. Pick it up. It has a lot of little, uh, little um, information, uh, uh, bullet points, so to speak about different things that you go through in life. And he kind of like put things like, like in perspective in short little doses. For instance, he said, uh, one of the things that he said that, I, that always stuck with me, he said that don't try to change people, change your expectations of people. So once you know what to expect of a person, if you're real with yourself, then that person can never let you down. That person could probably disappoint you, but they can't let you down because you don't really expect that much out of them anyway, right? So this works across the board in all relationships. If you know that you got a good heart, that you're a loyal person, you're a giving person, but the person that you're a friend with or the person that you're in a relationship with is not, then when they exhibit that type of behavior, you don't blow up and get yourself bent all out of shape because that's what you expected from them anyway. You see what I'm saying? But back to Tahari and Vado. I don't see how they're going to make it. I'm always rooting for love, but I don't see how they're going to make it because if you really love somebody, you care about somebody, you don't go on national TV and insult them. And they were taking turns insulting one another. So that's why I said, the way I look at it, it's got to be for the check. What do you think, fam? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.